So yesterday we began the Mishnah on Pei Zion on the base and began a whole new, whole new Indian of, uh, of, of the end of the Masechta, which has very much what to do with uh, Iguna, the, the, the concept of a woman being unable to marry. So we began the Mishnah, we said a husband went overseas, a, a, someone came and said that your husband died. She went and she remarried, and then the husband showed up. So she got the whole, every, the whole nine yards thrown at her, everything. Pates and Mizel, Mizel, you have to get both divorce from both of them. And the trial from the second one's the Mamza, and the trial from the first one's the Mamza. You know, all these needs explanation. So tonight we're going to focus on who, who exactly said that the husband's dead. Who exactly said that, and on whose testimony did she remarry? In other words, whoever she's remarrying based upon testimony. Is it two people? Is it one person? Now, in the Mishnah, clearly it said, if it's two people, then what she's supposed to do, she's, a, she's, an, she's an honest. Two people, Aiden, come and tell you it's daytime now. It's daytime now. Two Aiden, come and say the guy's dead. We believed to aid him. So therefore, it's speaking about Eid Echad. Okay, it's speaking about Eid Echad. And she's able to go ahead and remarry on, on, the, on the testimony of an Eid Echad. The Gemara's Havamina, guys, this is important. The Gemara's Havamina is that Eid Echad is believed the Arisa. That if a echad is believed their in other words, one aide comes and says your husband's dead, you'll believe their isa. I, if that's the case, the Taisa says yes, a, a very kasha. So why do we throw the book at her? If she if she if she, if she got married based upon that, why did she do wrong? He said, even though it's one person, she should have checked it out. In other words, two people, yeah. One person, only one person, she should have checked it out. And definitely throw the book at all. That's the half meter of the Gemara. In the Maskan of the Gemara, it's going to be a special waiver by Mishumiguna to kill by Rabbanon, your make by Rabbanon. But in the half meter of the Gemara, we're looking for a source, a derisive a source for one aid being, being believed. And with that, Hakdama, let's begin. With the Tani Sefer, when the Sefer of the Mishnah states, right, we're on page, Pei Zayin Amid Beis the Gemara. Pei Zayin Amid Beis the Gemara. When the Sefer says, if she re- remarries without Rishus, meaning without Rishus Bezdin, what does that mean? Shaloi Rishus Bezdin, Ela Be'edim. In other words, Bezdin didn't give her a waiver to remarry. She remarried because Edim said the guy's dead. So therefore, you're not Samech. Then, then the first husband could take her back. Then she's an honor. Then there's nothing to talk about. Mechlal in the ratio where you can't go back, even though there was Eidos, the ratio of Bezdin, it must be speaking about Bezdin, Ube Echad. Guys, right? If it's two Adim, then it's not Bezdin. If it's two Adim, you're, you're getting married based upon the testimony of the two Adim. So if you're getting married based upon Bezdin, it must be Bezdin is matering al Yedei Echad. So again, with that, with that Hachana, we're saying that, that that she gets messed up. And when she gets married, I'll pay eight echad, one eight. So now, Alma, what do we see from that? That eight echad neman, that an echad is believed. Bitan nami, and, and I'll show you an other place where an eight echad is believed. Hochzikoliyos masiyan eight mi pi eight. We machzik that you're able to go ahead and marry, <clears throat> not based upon testimony, even testimony from testimony. You, I heard from the other person that they died. Eight mi pi eight. The isha mi pi isha. Even though an isha is possible eight is. The issue would be believed. The issue would be Eved, who would be Shivcha, who are totally out of the ballpark. In this case, they would be believed. Alma, we see, Eid Echad Mehimnan. And Eid Echad is believed. So that's by, that's by marrying off a woman. By marrying a woman based upon that the husband's dead, Eid Echad is believed. Now, the guy says, I look in the Torah of Chelev. Chelev is an Issacharis. Right? In fact, the classic Shoigeg is called a Chatas Chelev. That's the most common case. And the the 36 Krisis, the one that's called Chata Schelev. Good? Now, to, for Adam to come and say that you, you ate B'mezid in Yechayev Karis, <laughs> that's between you and God. God's going to, Karis is God's. So Adam come and say that you ate B'shogeg, you're going to be Mechayev, you ate Karbin. Now, if an Eid Echad says you ate, and Mechayev, you ate Karbin, that's a huge Chiddush. You know why? Because you're going to be a Karbin that if it's not telling the truth, then you're bringing chulin in the azara, and then kahanim are eating chulin. You know, it's 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 an awful thing. So the fact, so when we say over here the aids believe, it's vis-a-vis the halacha of chulin ba'azara. Says the word tanan nami eid echad oimer achal to chaylev, and the echad says you ate chaylev, but who oimer lo yachalti, and he says I didn't eat, I didn't eat chaylev. Potter, now he's potter. Timer the amar lo yachalti. The reason is because he was machish the eid echad. He weakened him. 
Ha'ishtik, what happens if we would remain silent? Then Mehimnin, that Eid Alma Eid Echa Mehimnin, and Eid Echa would be believed. So in other words, this person is going to bring a carbon chatos based upon the testimony, or else, it's, again, you ate chaylev, good, he's believed, so my. If it's speaking with the rice, it's so good, toy, very good. What are you, Chaim Yukaris? It's from Chaim Karas, right? No, it's speaking in the You ate it Pishoyge. And one aid is going to be chayv me a carbon, despite the fact that what? It may be, it's, it's chulam azara. No. So two sources that an Eidachetz believe. One, Eidis Isha, and two, Chela. Two sources. <clears throat> now, Midaraisa Minala, where do you know this from? We want to know, what's the source? Guys, what's the source for Eidachet being believed? Says the Gemara, Minala, Midaraisa Minala, the Tanya, the Pasuk says, it becomes known to him his chatas asher chata ba the heaviest carbonoi. It says oyhoyde love chatasoi, but loy shay you do a chirm. He has to know, and not that other people tell him. Yochalaf be sheinam sheinam machisha ye pata. I might think that if other people tell him and he doesn't deny it that he's pata. Of course, again, after all, they told him tamad loymar oyhoyde love become makain. So if it says the first pasuk says hoyde a love. He's got to know himself. And now it says, Hoida, he's known, we call Mokrem. So, hey, Chidami, how exactly does he know? In other words, what is the Mitzvah over here that he knows that he's going to bring a carbon? Now, obviously, to say two people, you don't need a Pasuk for. Api Shnai made them Yakim Dava, right? Says the more, Ile Midrasa Trey, Vele Komachesh Lehu. If you're telling me what two people come along and said, Yeid Chelev, and he doesn't deny it, and he doesn't deny it, Kralam Ali, what do you need? What a Pasuk for two? We call Mokrem, we believe to aid him. El Olav, it must be Chad. It must be one. V'chi le'kar ma'cheshlei, and when he doesn't deny it, he's quiet. Mehimni is believed to bring a carbon. Who's being mechayv a carbon? Shmamina eid echad nemon. Shmamina eid echad is believed. So l'chayra, l'chayra, you see that Edus is the rice and is believed. Good. Now the Gemara wants to say. So you have a source from Chelev, a uh, hoida love. So in other words, you have a shtickle conflict. It says a love, he's got to know himself. A hoida becomes known. So meaning it becomes known through one individual. And that, that's the Kiddush, that one individual could make you know, and if as long as you know it, and you're not makish the person, you would bring a carbon. And we have a source from Chelev to what? To call it to Rekula, that Eidachad is Neman. Uh, I, at least be sure. Eidachad is Neman be sure. So says the Gemara, one second, maybe not. Dilma Mishum Umemaid Mishum Nehimna. How do you know it's because the aid is believed? Dilma Mishum the Koshasik Ushtika Kyoido Damya. Fellas, let's say, let's guys let, look, look at it this way. Let's let's view view with the situation the way the Gemara viewed it and the way I can go ahead and view it. The Gemara viewed it initially as the whole pool over here is Mahmas the aid. Since one person said you ate. And you didn't say anything, so who who's mechay of the carbon, the aid, and you'd have a raya that aid echad neman bisurim that echad's believed. There's another way to look at it. He went ahead and said you ate. You didn't deny it, but you not denying it. You went ahead and buttressed it. You supported it. You were you were moida. You admitted it. In other words, it's not that we believe the aid. The fact that you didn't say otherwise, therefore, it created a mitzvah of belief. So you don't have a raya that echad eid echad mehim and totally upon him. Maybe shtika kaida. The fact that you were quiet. Tell you that. Where do we know a raya that that svara is shtika kaida? Right. The tani sefer. The sefer of this mission. That's the mission increases. The tani sefer. Amru shnayim. Two people say a chal to chelav. You ate chelav. Now, what would you say? That's a classic chorus, correct? Classic artist. To aid them, you ate bitch. Not be amazed, but show you get high. For who I met, lawyer Khalti, and he said I didn't. Potter. You'd be part of what from? From a carbon. Potter, you'd be part from the carbon. Rameya Machayev, Rameya would say what? You chayev a carbon. So Omar Rameya says Rameya, Kalvach Oimer, it's a Kalvach Oimer that she machayev me. Kalvach Oimer, she machayev me. Im heavy uhu. Shnayim lide misa chamura lo yivir lide carbon hakal. If he goes ahead and he can't, and two edim are so powerful, two edim are so powerful they can go ahead and kill you. Right, right. 
in my view, Shnayim Lidei Misa Chamura, Lo Yivi Yivi Karben Akal? Should you not go ahead and bring to a carbon that that's, is kal? Madach to kill you to aid them, I believe, to go ahead what? and kill you. They should be, be bringing to what a carbon that's easier. So therefore, that, that's the svara of Reb Meir. So Amuloi, they, they said to him, my emir tzaloi mamezer, you see. You know what? What happens when, when he said pata? You know why he's pata? Maybe he doesn't want to bring kulun to the zara. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't say, you know, in other words, you said you ate, you ate Bishoyge. He says, he says what? He says, I didn't. Meaning, I didn't eat Bishoyge, I ate it from I And mean, he could have timed it, I ate it from it. So therefore, look at Rashi. My mirror to learn amazing, you see. He said, Nemo lift the rats when we carbon. He would be, if, if he would have said that, he would be believed. There ain't Aiden Matsi Lachishoy, because Aiden can't go ahead and say, you didn't eat it from They don't know, they don't know what's in this guy's mind. You, he's not a mind reader. You ate chayla, right? So you know why you pata? Because maybe maybe I ate a b'meisid. Am I going to say no? You didn't eat a b'meisid. You ate a b'shoyge. They can't possibly tell him that, right? Because he knows he didn't. Continues Rashi. They ate a matzalach. You should baha hilkach. He amenami loyachalti. If he says loyachalti, nemon. In other words, why is he believed to say I didn't eat? Because he, when they timed that you ate, he could have said meisid. You see. When they go ahead and argue by this in the Sefer with two Adim, the Reisha Eidechad Amachalta, in the Reisha, when the Eidechad said you ate, the Daik Minoha Ishti Chayev Divya Kali. So that's everybody agrees to it. In other words, the whole Machloikis is in the Sefer. In the Sefer, where, where two people come and he says, Loya Chalti, then the argument. But in the first case, no one argued. Everyone said, Ishti Chayev. Good. Now, what's the Raya? Reisha, my timer, come chayva, Rabbonon. Why the Rabbonon mechayv you a carbon in the Reisha? In the safer by two people, they patted you. When you had two people, two Adim said, you ate chaylev. And they said, what? I didn't eat. Says the Chachamim, you pata. Good? In the Reisha, they didn't argue. That's the point Rashi's making. They didn't argue in the Reisha. If one person said, what? One person said, you, chay, you ate, you chayv. Correct? So what's the Swara? My time will come a chayv chatos rabbanon. Why don't one of them chayv chatos in the ratio where one aid came? Eli mishum de mehimna. If you're going to tell me what that it's al's belief, but trey ba alma to aid them all over. The apa gav the komakish lehu. What? No, no, it's not. No, no. Okay, anyway. So what? Guys, one more time. One more time. We have two cases. We wanted to bring a, a, a raya from what, an, aid, an aid echel comes along and says, He doesn't say anything. He doesn't answer. Good? He doesn't answer. He's high of a carbon. We wanted to bring a raya that the aid is mechayivim, that one aid is mechayivim. Good? Yeah. Says the Gemara, maybe it's not the aid that's mechayiv you. Maybe it's because you opened up, you, you didn't say anything that's mechayiv me. Maybe because I, I remained silent. Listen to his riot. It's an unbelievable riot. <laughs> In the Sefer, if two Adam said you ate, and he says, I didn't, the Chacham say you pata from a carbon. Good. If you're going to tell me this is depends upon the emonis, who's more believed, one eight or two? Two, always. Yeah. Two eight are always stronger. <laughs> you, so you see from the sefer where two people say achalti, and he says I didn't. He's part of a carbon. So why in the ratio is he chayiv a carbon? That's the kasha. Says the Quran. Now my time will come chayiv rabbanon. If you're going to tell me it's because the eight efforts believe, but trey ba'alma, there's two people what ba'alma, the apa gav the komachish lehu, even the what the komachish lehu, even though the two, what they are, what they are, they're denying. Ini mehimna, they believed. They believed. In other words, we're going to believe the two over, the, over him. However, nonetheless, the kapotri rabbonon mi carbon, the rabbonon is going to pot from a carbon. So it has nothing to do with their manis. So it must be the Reisha, Elolav, Mishom, the Ishtik. The reason why Ischayi Vekarbin 
is because we remain silent. And shtika is aida. So where do you know Eid Echad from? You thought you knew Eid Echad, guys, from Chelev. I'm disproving you. I'm showing you the reason why the guy is believed over here is not an Emma in the aid. It's the fact that he didn't go ahead and what and 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 and, and disagree. Because the Raya is in this ratio in the safer where it's Nemanis, he and he does disagree, he's part of a carbon. So we're left looking for a raya for the din of what of a dechad nemabistor. We're looking for a raya of a nemabistor. Okay, so here's the case. El he. It's a svara. That that Eidach is then Misurim, guys, is a svara. Midi the Havi, Achatich is Suffolk Shal Chelev, Suffolk Shal Shomin. You have a piece of meat in front of you, a piece of fat in front of you. Chelev is forbidden fat. Shumin is, is it's Shumin, guys, the only other thing Chelev and Shumin is one's mother, first. one's currency. Right? <laughs> Little difference. In other words, technically, they look exactly the same. In other words, in, in the vernacular, we'd call it fat. In the vernacular, we call it fat. In Hebrew, one's chelev and one is shuman. One, you're dead. The other one, you probably die from, you know, pottering <laughs> of the arteries, but you're not going to get, you're not going to get carrots, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, but either way, so chelev, so said, now, you have this piece of fat in front of you, right? So one person says, so, ah, uh, says, <laughs> Eidach comes along and says, Borili, I know for sure the Shuman who. It, I, I know for sure it's Shuman. The Mehimna, that what? That you believed. So it's a Svara, you believed. Okay? Look at Rashi, famous Rashi, guys. Vomi Borili, the Shuman who, the Mehimna. Vavadi Pshitalon, the Samach Allah. Vadai, we're going to be Samach on this person. Calls Manshli Nechshad. As long as the person, in the Yiddish word is faleslach. As long as he has not lo- lost his ne'emonis. The ilav hachi, if you don't believe one person to say that it's kosher food, that it's shuman, ain l'cha adam oichel mishal chaveray. No person will be able to eat in somebody else's house. Ve'en l'cha adam soimach ala b'nei beso. Nor could a person eat in his own house. Each time he'd go home, he'd have to kash all the kalim. Why do you eat? Why do you eat in my house? You, 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 believe, you believe that my wife, what is, 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 is true. You eat in my house because you believe my wife is true. You, that's anyone. That's all over. So it's a svara. So this person comes along and says, you know, this piece of fat is shuman. We believe him. So therefore, eid echad nema bisun is a svara. We didn't learn it from chelav. That they love. No, we didn't learn it from chelav. That was shtika kaita. We're learning it from what? From the fact that it's a svara. Okay, now, guys, what's the difference? What's the difference in eishes ish and this shuman? There's a huge difference over here. I do not know what this is. It could be Asr, it could be Chelev, it could be Shuman. I haven't established Nisa. By Yeshish, have I established Isha? Or Isha? I even have established Isha, right? Yeah. You haven't established Isha. So how could you learn out Yeshish from this case? It's not, it's not, it's not doyme, it's not comparable. Says the Gemara, me, dummy, is it comparable? Hasam lo yeschazek isura. Over there, by the case of Shuman, you haven't mischazik the isura. You haven't established isur. Hacha by eish the shish mischazik isura the eish the shish. The ain davar she be erva pachas mishnayim, and you can't have a davar erva less than two. So how in the world would over here would you say an echad is believed midaraisa? You can't use what the svara. The svara works when what when I don't have an established isur, but when I have established isur, the svara doesn't work. Holy Damia, you want to go here and p- compare the woman to a piece of fat? Holy Damia, I don't know like, that came out. Holy Damia, El Chaticha, Zvadai Chelev, you have a Chaticha, Zvadai Chelev, the Osay Rechad Vama, Bari Lee, the Shuman Ho. You come along and you say, Guess what? It's this piece of fat is an established piece of fat. It's Chelev, Mamish, it's Chorus. And this Edech comes along and goes, It's not. It's the same thing as saying you have an established of Aishas Ish, and this guy says, You're not an Aishas Ish, your husband's dead. So obviously, you're not going to be believed. Just like you're not going to be by Chaleb, you shouldn't be believed by what the Aishas Ish so, says. The Gemara, formerly Bumi Shem, says the Gemara, one second, me dummy, what's, what's it comparable? Hasam Afilu Asube Meya, Lemihimna. Over there by Chaleb, even if 10 people come along, you're not going to believe. Hacha, Kivin the Chiyasabe Trey Mehimna. In other words, 
by Chelev, once it's established that it's Chelev, there's no letting you off the hook. This is Chelev. No matter how many people say it's not Chelev, it's Chelev. Hashem came at Eishas Ish, right? If, if two people would come along and say that, what, that, that the husband's dead, he's dead. So to one person, the husband's dead. So in other words, there's a difference between the Isra of Chelev and the Isra of Eishas Ish. Isra of Chelev, guys, there's, there's no changing it. You can't make Chelev not Chelev. What do you say? A duck is a duck, right? Right? A duck is a duck. You can't change it. Chelev, this is Chelev, this is there is there's there's a there's a, a way out. So it's a very nice nice very lumbish, very lumbish gemara guys very good gemara. There's a way out. It's true. It's not comparable to shum and kosher fat, but it, and it, and and it, you thought it's comparable to chaylev. It's still not comparable to chaylev. You know why? Because chaylev once it's chaylev it's chaylev. That's it. There's a way out. If two people come, so it's just like two people believe one person's belief. So let me say that wow, I have a svara now a mid the svara. Therefore, maybe what an ish is like tevel hegdish vikainamas. That all these cases are subject to change. All these cases, all these cases, even though I have an established isa, I can change them. Tevel, obviously, I can go ahead and separate. Hegdish, if I'm magdish something, I can be paid it. The kainamis, I can be soil. I can be soil on hegdish, not the point of the hegdish. I can be soil on the hegdish. Kainamis, guys. Kainamis is the following: you say a lotion. We had this kainamis mafkim de shibut. If you say on an object kainamalai, it's also in you like a carbon. There's a shiloh whether it's din of meil or not. To what extent is it din of isla? Din of what? Of a hegdish. Well, the bottom line is you could be soil on it and say like, had I known, like we may like, take off a net that you could take it off the hegdish, the act of being magdish something you could take it off the act of koinomus you could take it off. So all these things are subject to tikkun. So ish is ish is comparable to tevel koinomus and what and and hegdish because those are all subject to what correction to take off. But shenkin chaylev is not. So hi tevel hechinam. What's the case of tevel? Edi day if it's his his mishum the yadul attack night, right? <laughs> can you go ahead and take care of your own problem by tevel? Can the woman take care of her own problem? Not unless she wants to be a murderer, right? <laughs> right? right? You know, how would the woman get out of being an Asian ish? She'd have to murder her husband. Just like you, you know, it's you've been talking to tevel by separating it. So yeah. you take off this of Asian ish by what? By killing the husband. So it's it's Hopefully, you know, it's not beyond the talking. After all, we have gun control in America, right? So now we're going to... What? Ella the Ella the Acher. It must be somebody else. It must be somebody else's Tfua. My Kosova now. Ikosova toy mishaloy al shal chaveroi ain't it sorech das bailim. If I take off Truma for somebody, I don't need the Das of the Baal to do this. Therefore, it's in your hands to be talking. And therefore, it's not simultaneous ish, which is not. Because of a tzorch das vaylim, and if you can need the, the the owner to agree with you, vama anoya dina be the metakin he right. I, I I know that 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 he he was metakin it. Gufa vama anoya dana be the metakin he gufa. I mean, so he gufa me nolan. So if how do you know that? How do you know he's believed? He gufa me nolan. How do you know he's believed to say he's metakin it? You don't know that. Hegdish nami ikedushes domim. Guys, there's different types of hegdish. Kedushas dumb means it's kodesh for its what? It's it's its value versus kedushas aguf, which is intrinsically kodesh. He kedushas mishum debiyadil liftaisa. You can be paid it. He kedushas aguf. Idi day, it's his own mishum debiyadil lechuli alo. He can go ahead and be shoyel on hegdish and say, I didn't want it to be kodesh. El the acher. It must be the hegdish for somebody else. Vama yadana be the itchel mare yolaha. I know that the, that the owner was was shoyel on the hegdish. He goof me nolan. How do you know that again? It's aidachon and misur. How do you know that? Koinam es nami. Again, machloikis. When a person says on an object koinim, it's asa. Is it also like hegdish and has the mamish the din of hegdish or just asa? It's a shaila in the gemara in 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 the in the darim. Yeah, it says gemara ikasav yesh mila bekoinamis the kedushas damim nachtalalu and as kedushas damim mishum biyad lufaisid because he mipayd it. Ikasav a mila bekoinamis v'isa ba'alma hu derachav loya katve and if it's just an isra not a misa idi day mishum biyad let shule ela he can take it off. Ela must be the acher v'ama I know you done it dishul mariola and I know he took it off. So he go for me nolan. So the guys, we don't have a source for Yedachon and Misurin. In other words, you, hmm. it can't compare to Shuman. Shuman was in Mishazik Yisura. You can't compare it to Chelev because Chelev, there's no out. And here there's a way out. And if you're going to compare it to Tevel, Hegdish, and, and, and what, and 
what's what's there it's be other you could take it you, you know you could go ahead and, and you could fix it and and Mashain came by isha he can't she can't kill her husband she can't fix it so guys we don't have we don't have a svara we, excuse, we don't have a svara or we don't have a posik to say you do not says the gemara ella why do you have to conclude so um Reb Zera, i would say ella um Reb Zera, ella no, i I'm again, don't say that. I'm saying it. El, like it's Lashon Charata. In other words, we're not, we're leaving the half a mina that it's the Raisa. We're coming to the Maskona. El Amr Rav Zeir, mitoy chomer shechmata alav mesleifa. The chumra we're a machmer in the end. What happens to the end if this woman's husband shows up? We got a whole omen of, of, of terrible things that happened to her. She loses the kasuba, kids are mamzerim. She has to get a gift from both. She puzzled this. She had mamish. Since the end, we're throwing the kitchen sink at her. Therefore, he kalt a little bit chila. Then we're we're mach, we're making in the beginning because knowing that if we say that an aide comes along and is dead, isha daika uminsiva, she's going to go and ascertain and check it out without a shadow of a doubt because she doesn't want to be nichtas into this terrible matziv of everything being an asa. Uh, so therefore, is belief. The belief is what a derabbanan dika belief. And it's buttressed by the fact that what we know she's going to check it out. And therefore, and therefore, if in fact he shows up, we're going to say she didn't check it out that well. And therefore, comes to Rabbanon, takes the Mizel Mizev, and the Suba, and the Paris, and the Mizanis, and the the whole thing that goes upon her is because she didn't check it out well. It all fits in like a glove now. Why was so machmer on her? Eidachas believe, right? Eidachas, now have me the believe. So why do you throw the kitchen sink at her? Because even if he's believed, you're gonna to have to check it out. And Kolch came now where it's a dinder abon on the Chacham said, you know what? Mishumi Guna will be makel upon you. And for the Gemara, so the Gemara, lay lachim lay lekel. So why do you do anything? And for the Gemara, Mishumi Guna kill barabon. So much is the svara viguna lay kill barabon. This the dinner viguna is 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 thing. It's 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 horrible. Who is that person in the lake house? Do you remember Maud? Do you remember Maud? Her husband died in a plane crash, and 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 she never could be married because they was never found the body. Right, remember, I'm right, yeah. I'm saying that a terrible thing. She was, she was, she couldn't marry her. She, young woman, and then she ended up being an old woman. She couldn't be married. Never found the body. So the din of iguna to be made by iguna is a, is a very big cool of the rabbanon, cool of the rabbanon. <clears throat> Again, I, I entered. I said yesterday the biggest shyness my rebbe said after the war. Was Tamata and Iguna the biggest, biggest Shilas? The Mamish, the biggest Shilas. The biggest, biggest Shilas. Famous story of Moshe. I said it over many times. A woman showed up and she she, she said she had a Heta Mirabana to get married. And she said the Rav who gave that Heta and her husband showed up. And Moshe said, I knew that Rav. Say, tell me the story again. And, and out of character, of Moshe was giving this woman a very hard time again and again and again. Finally, the woman broke down and told the truth. She had no head to whatsoever. She heard the name of the Rav in the concentration camp and she used his name, but she never had to remarry. Because when Moshe said, if that Rav gave a head to, that's Ad Kedekach, Ad Kedekach. If that Rav gave a head to, he's not coming back. He's not coming back. Okay. We said that if they, they get married by an eight echad, excuse me, if you get married by an eight echad, then if the husband shows up, she has to go ahead and, and leave. Now, Rav's going to say a din, and the Gemara is going to struggle to understand Rav. Guys, we're going to have a havamina, a havamina, and, and, and Rav is a very difficult Gemara. I found this, I found this Gemara very, very difficult. Says the Gemara, Amar Rav, Loi Shanu that she has to leave the second husband, guys. Loi Shanu that she has to leave the second husband. Ela Shanisas Be'ed Echad. When she get married through an Eid Echad. Aval Nisas Al Pishne Eidim. But if two Eidim testify that what? That the husband died, then Loi Seitzi Mina Shani, she doesn't have to leave the second. Wow. Now, so what's, you got the first husband showing up. Yeah. And he said, you're, you're dead. You're not supposed to be here. It's guys, this is, I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah, you were dead. What? Yeah, you're like, you're yeah when, when was this? <laughs> 
My your funeral home? Your father's dead better. Nah, your father's dead maybe. That was your father's joke? Uh, okay, so now. So listen, Rav says this then. Amar Rav. Then you leave the second husband. That, now that's a Havamina, guys. From the second husband. They left on in, in Eretz Yisrael, they left on Rav. Rav was in Babel. They heard this Pesach of Rav and they left on him. The husband shows up and he's standing there. And you're saying you don't leave the second husband? There was no kedusha by the second husband. If the first husband's alive, there's no chalois in the second husband. You can't be mekadesh and eses ish. So how can you tell me like say it's the second husband? It's irrelevant right now, Harold. What? A thousand percent. Again, bishra. Now Rav is going to guys touch up this gemara. In, the gemara is going to try to understand Rav with the craziest akim that you can imagine. I, I, uh, you'll see. <laughs> like Tzricha, what? Whatever, whatever it is, I, I, whatever it is, Doc, you're not supposed to go ahead and smile at these things. You just, you just keep on telling it to you. Says the Gemara. He, he always needed someone to tell it to. Says the Gemara. Says the Gemara. Like Tzricha, the lawyer didn't lay. We don't recognize that for sure this is the husband. <laughs> we don't know. He shows up. He shows up. She got married out to Aiden. He shows up, and we don't recognize him. Says the Gemara. One second. So I got a kakasha. If we don't know this guy is the husband, why does she have to leave the second husband? Loishan, who says Rad that she has to leave, just by by Edechod, but by two Aiden, you could stay. Fred Gamar, to Aiden, we could say the husband's standing there. Oh, we don't know if it's the husband. Fred Gamar, if we don't know it's the husband, then one by one, by, by, by one, we have to leave. Kabal the Kasha. Like Tzricha, the Asabe Trey, the Amri, two people come along and say, Ana Havina Bahade mi Kinafik by Hashta. We were with this guy from the time he went to uh, overseas and came back. For us and Hudlo Yadisan lay. And you're the ones who don't recognize him, but we know for sure it's the husband. How come you don't recognize him? The Chsiv, Vayaka Yosef is Echa, Vahim like Kirua, Yosef recognizes his brother, he recognizes him. He went without a beard and he came back wow, with a beard. Okay, so now here's your case. Here's your case. Says Rav, says Rav, if two people come, uh, two people come and say, Your husband's dead, she goes overseas, he goes overseas, she marries. If he shows up, if he shows up, then what? Then she doesn't have to leave. Say the Gemara, why you guys don't leave? Because we don't recognize him. Says the Gemara, if she doesn't have to rec- if you don't recognize him, then one by one do you have to leave? Says the Gemara, because there it's speaking where two people came along, right? Two people came along and they said we knew this guy all along and you don't recognize him now. Says the Gemara, Kasha now. Slave, slave, treu, train, you know. So if that's the case. It's two versus two. You got the two saying that what that the guy guy is dead. You got two saying he's alive. So why in the world? The, can she stay together? And here, she, what? Guys, the, here's, the, here's the deal. If you know you ate chelev, you chayev karis. If you know you ate shumen, you're off to completely. If you don't know, then you're being an ashim tali, which, which protects you until you find that vada what the din is. So over here is a suffix, right? You suffix whether this is the husband or not. I got two people saying he's dead. I got two people saying it's the husband. It's a suffix. Two against two. It's a suffix. So she should have to go ahead and bring an ashim tali. How can what? Then stay together, right? Since it's a suffix, she would have to leave the Baal Shani. In other words, the Baal, she has to bring an ashim tali, so she would have to leave the second husband. Fredding Marakash, of Sheshes. She married one of the Adim. It gets more interesting. She married one of the Adim that said the husband's dead. She married one of the Adim. What? Yeah, obviously. What? No, that second husband is one of the Adim. Says the he goofed Ba'ashim Tali Kaima. So she's still Ba'ashim Tali. So somewhere by Meris Barili, it's clear to me that what that that this is not my husband. It's clear to me that this is not my husband. Right? What? What? 
But he was an aide before he was the husband. Oh, so now, so he goofa blushed totally kindly. So modest barely, in other words, if it's clear to me, it's clear to me, meaning she, we only bring a, a, a Nashim Tali, guys, if you're, if you're nervous. If she's marrying this second aide, so obviously this second aide must hold the guy's dead. The aide who said he's dead is, wouldn't be married unless he knew he was dead. She says, borrow this to my husband. So with these raglayim ledover, these factors, we're going to say that what? Let's say it's safe. So that, that's the ukimta over here. The ukimta. Where did Rav say, where did Rav say his din? That if two Adam show up, she stays with the second husband. Is where <laughs> he shows up. This is, they, to, they say it's not the husband. Two Adam say it is the husband. You don't recognize him. It's never beard. She says it's buried to me. It's not my husband. She marries one of the Adam who said he's dead. Those two factors, you're good. She stay together. So therefore, what's Rav's Chiddush? Right, so, so what's Rav's Chiddush? Chiddush? Says, well, I'll tell you Rav's Chiddush. Afilu Rebbe Nachman, Rebbe Yossi, loy komar, ele kishebo edim biya kach nisus. Rebbe Menachem, Rebbe Yossi, we'll meet in a second, only said kishebo edim, that edim come that he didn't die. Biya kach nisus. Two edim come and said what? Dead. Two people came along and said, not dead. And, and accompanied by a guy. Then she gets married. That's when you have to get say say. Avonises, after the first two Aiden come and said, he's dead. And you married based upon that. Fiachach bo Aiden and said he's alive. Loi, they're not. So what's the Chiddush? Loi Yama, the Tanya, Shnayim Oim Rim Meis, Ushnayim Oim Loi Meis, Shnayim Oim Niskarsha, Shnayim Oim Loi Niskarsha. Harizu Loi Tinase, she shouldn't go ahead one and get <coughs> married. Of course, again, <coughs> you have conflicting views, right? It's a Sophic. However, if he says like say say, but if she does like say say, but not from Rabbi Yosi, I mean no, take say she has to leave. Why? Because she shouldn't have got married in the first place. So I'm Rabbi Nachman Rabbi Yosi. Amos and I met take say. When do I say take say? This man shebo Adam viakach nisus. That's when Adam comes. Adam come, and afterwards they get married. Aval nisus viakach bo Adam. At first you get married, you have more Adam. I was always Tate say, okay? So what's the Frank Lamarakasha guy? So what's Rav's Kiddush? If she got married, based upon, if two people came along, she said, what? He's dead. She marries one of those Aiden. Two, two people show up with a guy and say he's the husband. And I know for sure it's the husband. She says, I know for sure it's not the husband. Good. So what's the Kiddush of Rav? Because when did she get married? Before, before the second pair came. Guys, so what's the Kiddush of Rav? Because even Rav Nachman Yitzchak, who, who's a big machmer, even Rav Nachman by Rav Yitzchak is a machmer. He's only machmer if both peers came before she remarried. Two and two before she married. But if you married based upon the Edus that is dead, then he's not machmer. So what's the Chiddush Rav? And for the Gemara, here's the Rav Chiddush Rav. Kiko Rav Nami bizman shebo edim yakach nisas. In other words, Rav said it's Chiddush that even if you got married, if the both sets of Edim came, la fuki mit Rav Nachman by Yitzchak, right? That's the Chiddush Rav. The Kiddush Rav is that even though two people came and said he's dead, and two people said it's him, and Rav Nachman by Yoisi says, what? You can't remarry then, Tetze, says Rav, Loi Seitze. Fikid the army, others say, Taimo de Nisas, Biakach Bo Edim. The reason why she doesn't go out is because she got married and then the Edim came. Ava Bo Edim, Biakach Nisas, Tetze, Rav would admit that, Kiman Krev Nachman by Yoisi. So that's the Shiloh is what Rav holds, but he holds like this or that. Okay, so what do we have, guys? We have, <coughs> we have Rav saying a huge Chiddush. The, obviously, there's a very easy way out of this whole Gemara. When it says Tetze, it means what? Not from the second, it means from the first. It says Lois Tetze, Rav says from the first husband. That would be the easiest way out. That makes sense. You, you marry Al to Adim. You remarry to Adim. You did nothing wrong. The husband shows up. Tate say from who? The second one. Lois say say from the first. We're trying to figure all, ma- all these machinations because we're saying Lois say say from the second. Guys, right? You're good. You're good. In other words, we wouldn't come onto this whole, uh, whole kit and caboodle only, only because of trying to figure out to Kimta based upon getting married to the to not Lois say say from the second. So we're saying she's marrying one of the first Adam. 
And it's not so, and she says, this is not my husband. There's a man there that says it's a husband. Two of them say that's the husband. She says, it's not my husband. She, and we have two people saying it is. And one of the Adem, this fact that married one of the Adem, one of the Adem would have married her, have you not been telling the truth? She would not marry the guy who had the chutzpah to say, this guy's not my husband. She, therefore, is not being in Hashem Tolle. And even, even according to the first Lashem, if you marry after two Adem came, both came, you'll be okay. That's the Chiddush Nifta. Or Chiddush is that only, Rav said it's done only, only if you marry after the first two came. But if the, the, the other two came, he agreed with Rav Nachum, Rav Yossi, but that's the Gemara so far. Guys, we're good? So far, we're good. Okay, great. Says the Gemara Vait. We'd be great until the next Kasha. <laughs> Says the Gemara. Okay. Ooh. Masiv is a Masiv here somewhere. Okay, now here we go. Masiv Rava. Minayan, how do you know? Shim loy rotsa. You have a Koyin, guys, who's married to one of the women he shouldn't be married to. He's married to one of the Psule Kahuna. How do you know Daphnoi? For Rashi says he ko, you hit him. How do you know you force him to leave this woman? Now, Tamit Loimar, it says the Kidashtoi. It's a mitzvah for us to be Makadish Balkarchai. Even the Kayin doesn't want to be a Kayin. Even the Kayin makes believe he's not a Kayin. There's a mitzvah of the Kidashtoi. There's a mitzvah going ahead and making sure that he knows he's a Kayin. Huh? So therefore, this guy is married to Psul. We're going to hit him. We're going to force him. Now, it's an easy case to say, oh, he just married a, a, a Zayna, right? Says Rashi. Look at Rashi. Rashi takes, takes that off the board right away. Look at Rashi, guys. Dibra Maskel. Hey, Chidami. The Vadai be Isra Mifursim. Vafil be Isra Safik like Isra Kra. The Vadai Kafinale. In other words, when we need a pasik to say we force the issue, it must be speaking and not, it's not stomach case. It must be a sophisticated case. A regular case that, oh, to tell me that he marries a Garusha, we're going to force him to, that you, don't need a, you don't need a pasik to tell me any mitzvah is a dinah kfiyah. If you don't want to wear tzitzis, there's a dinah kfiyah. If you don't want to sit in a sukkah, there's a dinah kfiyah. Right? By mitzvah's essay, there's a din, Bezdin can force you to do a mitzvah. So if this guy doesn't want to leave his wife, so therefore we don't need a pasik to tell me that. It must be some sophisticated case, which of course is going to be our case. Says the Gemara. So, if she didn't marry one of the Edim, and she didn't say Barili, that what, that's not my husband. Do you have to tell me that what, that you forced the issue? Ella must be lav. She married one of them. And said what? It's not, it's not my husband. And if the guy is the second, the, one of the Edim was the Kayin, what are we saying? We're forcing to leave. The Kashan Rav, you see that what? Even though you have the Raglayim Ladova, you have marrying one of the Edim who said he's dead. And she says, it's not my husband. Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and force the issue. We say we cause him to leave. Kasha on Rav. Issachun is shiny. Issachun is different. In other words, by Yikayim, there's a level of Kedush. Issachun is different, and therefore will be more Machmed. But a regular Joe will let's stay together. You go ahead. If two Adams say that, what, that he's, uh, he's dead, we're going to go ahead and find two Adams, make sure. We're going to go ahead and find two Adams to, uh, to, to, to make sure. If you buy a same, because Shabo, Adam, Yakachnesis, it's speaking what, when are you going to force him to leave? Is when Adam come and there you got, you, you got the, you, they married even after the two Adams came and said he's alive. From Nachem Rav Yitzhak, he, and Rav disagrees with that. So it's not a cash on Rav. No, this, this would be consistent with the first Lashon, the Rav disagrees with Rav Yitzhak. He said, even if you married after two, he would, Ravashi Yomar, my Seitze, Ravashi gives the classic answer. My Seitze, the Kama Rav, Lay Seitze may terror Meaning she doesn't have to leave what the her husband. She doesn't have to leave her husband. Meaning she two ate them came along. I'm a Rav. Tate, guys, look. I'm a Rav. Tate, see, me, You leave the first husband and the second husband. That's when there's an aid echad with the swara of what? Isha, daiko, minsava. And since she didn't go ahead and check well enough, we'll cancel her that she can't stay married to the first husband. But if she had to aid him, came along and said he's dead, then he's dead. I shows up he afterwards. What am I supposed to do? I got to aid him, right? So therefore, I say it from who? The first husband, which, and then that ends up. 
So in other words, we're leaving the half, I mean, of the Gemara, but of the second husband. It means the first husband. Fred the Gemara, if that's the case, it's speaking about the first husband. The Rav already said it once. That Nan, Nisei Shaloi Bershus, if she married Shaloi Bershus, guys, what does that mean? Yes, they did. No Bezdin. No Bezdin. Nisei Shaloi Bershus Bezdin. Why? Because he had two Aiden. Then what does the Mishnah say? Muteres Lachsaloi. It's permitted for what to take him back. So, guys, what's Rav telling me that the Mishnah tell me? According to Vashi's Peshat, Rav is just repeating the Mishnah, right? When you get married to Adim, she doesn't have to leave the first husband. So Rav is repeating the Mishnah. You don't need Rav to repeat the Mishnah. Says, Amarav, Huna, Amarav, Hachi Hilchse, that's the halacha. So Lachayra, Rav said already, right? So twice. So the way you were Vashi, you're learning Peshat. Bishlam, the sophisticated Peshat, a Tetzimi Shani, you got a Chiddush. But you tell me, Tetzimi Rishan, that's the Mephorish of Mishnah. Says, Gemara, Choda Michal Lachavir, so it's not. It's what it's it, he, you know. It's Rav only said one of them, and we refer the other one. Rav said one of them, and we refer the other one. He could have said like Shanu, and then we infer that the Allah is like that in the Mishnah. But they only said one of them. They didn't say both of them. Okay, now nice easy Gemara. Now not, uh, <laughs> nice hard Gemara. Another hard Gemara. Okay, well, again, we're going to be through two dots. Will be good. Ama Shmuel. Shmuel said Loi Shanu that she has to leave. Loi <clears throat> Shanu she has to leave by the eight echad. If she doesn't deny, in other words, the husband shows up and she doesn't deny saying it's the husband, then she has to leave both. But if she denies saying, no, you're not my husband, then she doesn't have to leave the second husband. The Mayaskina, what exactly are you speaking about? If two people said it is the husband, who cares what she says? Ella must be There must be one saying it is the husband and she's saying not. And time of the machashtai, the reason she doesn't have to leave her husband right. is because she denied that it's the husband. Hashaska, let's say she was shasak, Tate then she'd have to leave. Good. So now let's let's go, guys. How did she remarry over here? Let's go through, let's go through, let's go through, guys. Let's guys look at me. Let's go through the case. This is the case where she has to leave both. So it's two aid and one aid. One, one aid. Good. So one aid came along and said, What? Your husband's dead. Yeah? What koyach did we give this aid? Two. We gave this guy two. This, in other words, this is Mishumi Guni Kilbara Bonon. We gave this, again, we said, Eirach has not believed. The Chachamim gave this one aid the power of two. So you got one aid, but this one aid equals two. You have one aid saying, now what? Your husband's alive. Yeah? It's two versus one. So why Tate say? Even if she remains silent, if she denies, great. So she's denying and breaking this aid. She's not denying. So you have two versus one. Why is she after Tetze? Fred the Gemara Kasha. Taima the Machashtai. The reason why she doesn't go out is because she denied it's her husband. Hashaska, if she remains silent, then Tetze should have to leave. Why? For Amaullah, Kalmakam Shemina Taira Eid Echad. Any place where the Torah goes ahead and believes one aid, Harikan Shnayim, the Ein Devarav Shel Echa B'Makim Shnayim. The other guy, the, the, the person who said that this is your husband, is only a one. This is a two. And for the Gemara Chamei Eskinon, the Pesule Edis, the ones that said that your husband is the one they say, the one that said it's your husband, right? The one, the Edis that said it's your husband. Are what are psule edis? They they what they 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 they're, they're, they're women. The they, some say they're women. They they they'll be women. <clears throat> yeah, the, in this case, yeah. How come I skin psule edis? They say this is your husband. They were two women. Uchid rem nechemia, the Tanya rem nechemia oimer kol makam sheaminu toyre eid echad, like for edis isha. And therefore, we're going to believe aid women who are right, and they go ahead and the machish the first aid, halach acha roiv deus. You're going to go after the majority. For us, shtei nashim beish echad will make two women against one man kishnei nashim beish echad, like two men against versus one man. So, guys, listen to this. Any time the Torah believed women in aidasisha, Mishnah said. Right? We said, the Gemara said, we elaborated upon it. 
Edis Isha Ikil Barabanan. Aid me pa, aid me pa, the woman, Shifcha, Eved. We're going to believe the whole thing, right? So now you have one aid saying the husband's dead. You have two women saying that this is the husband. Right? You go after Rav Deus. I got two versus one. Again, we're switching it around now. When the Chemi going, when the Chemi says not. When the Chemi says any place that, in other words, she, we give her a Koyach two to remarry, but there's an addendum over here. If two people show up and say not, then what? The fact that she can marry in the first place is in Koyach two. But the fact that two people show up and said this is the husband, we're going to go after Roy Deus. That's what yeah, that's what the Chemi is then. What? The, the, the oh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see that case. Okay, so now. So, so one more time. She's being quiet over here. Remember, she's being quiet. Okay, so the two people said that it's that it's the husband or psuli edes. Ufrem nechemia tanya from nechemia oimer kol makom sheminu toyre ed echad holach acher roiv deus v'yasu shte nashim b'ish echad will view shte nashim uh, against one man kishnei nashim b'ish echad like two men against one man. Vibay yaseima. So that that's one teretz to answer up why if she remains silent. That she what she has to go out. If one eight comes, that's kashem kara. Even a hundred women come, it's one against one. So therefore, you're not going to believe them more. This is the dax case. You know who the aid that that we we married was a woman. That aid echad that we gave the kayak was a woman. Had it been a man. It'd be one against one and won't believe. This was a woman. The the tirza and learn little of Nehemiah Hachi. And here's the way you can learn the words of Nehemiah. So guys, you hear this case. A woman, uh, the woman showed up. One woman showed up and said that that this man died. One woman showed up and said that what this man this man died. And then she went in and got married. And two women showed up. And they testify that this is the husband. They testify this is the husband. Now, if she's not machish, those two, she leaves. Why? Because over here you have majority of opinions. Here you don't have one. You have a majority of opinions. So this is answers your cash. If you had one man, one man's belief. Forget about it. It's not a man. It's a woman. Why is a woman believed over here? A to C shah. Why are two women believed over here? A to C shah. So when you have two women conflicting, you're going to go after... Going to go after the numbers, the numbers game. But here's the way you have to learn the words of Nehemia. When Nehemia says, "Kol makom shehemino Torah edachod," when the Torah believes in edachod, halach acharoy v'deis. When is that? V'yasu shtei nashim hamiida. Two women who testify, v'isha achas against one woman, kishnei anashim v'yishechad, like two against one. Avol shtei nashim v'yishechad, but two women and one man, then kepalgo palga. It'll be like half and half. And since she's not machish, that right, she's not machish. She's sh- silent, so she will have to have to leave. Okay, so 